In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create cassette tape style detuning to any patch in Ableton Live using only stock devices. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com where I help keyboard players just like you with the ins and outs of sound design with building a stable live keyboard rig and with choosing appropriate live performance software. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. All right, so we all like that cassette tape style detune sound, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create this inside Ableton Live. So this is our starting patch. And this patch is inspired by a preset in pigments. So if you're looking for an external synth, you can check that out. But we're gonna go ahead and begin to add some detuning. Now the easiest and most obvious way to do this is to start with an LFO, but as you'll see here, it's not actually gonna be totally sufficient. So I'm gonna take this LFO and I'm going to map that LFO to pitch. So you'll hear. Mapping that LFO to pitch gives it a bit of detuning. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do 0.5 here. Now, when we listen back to this, even at a small amount, the problem with it is that it's just a bit too consistent. So we want to actually modulate or change the rate of this LFO using a second LFO. So I've got this LFO here and the speed is not super important. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this LFO and we're going to control the rate of our first LFO using our second LFO. So I'll just add a little bit here. And if any of these terms are confusing, make sure you grab a copy of the quick synth map and it's gonna explain this in a little bit more detail. But let's listen to what we have now. So this is a little bit better, um, but as you'll notice, it's still extremely consistent in the way that it's detuning. So we're not getting sort of that tape sound quite yet. But you can see the speed of this LFO changing. So what we're gonna do is we are actually going to use a random wave to modulate the rate of LFO2. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us that unpredictable um, tape-like sound. So, in LFO here, we're gonna to go to our Max for Live device. And underneath our audio effect, we're gonna drop in the LFO. So we'll just drag this to the end of our chain. And this is gonna give us a lot of different options, but we're gonna come in here and we're gonna actually choose random because we want a randomly changing rate to kind of mimic that uh, cassette tape. And we're gonna pull the depth back and turn the smooth up because we don't want it to just kind of go kick, 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 right? We want it to be a really uh, smooth um, transition. And I'm going to map this by clicking map to the rate. And you can see this rate is gonna begin changing. Now this is a bit too extreme, right? We don't want it to jump crazy from, you know, four to whatever, so we'll pull this down. I'm actually gonna bring this rate up here just a bit, maybe one hertz. Okay, so now when I begin to play, you're gonna hear the sound has drastically changed. And this actually might be slightly too extreme. So let's pull back LFO2. Maybe we'll change it to 0.5, still a bit extreme here. Pull the depth back a little bit. And if you wanna really uh, dive into sound design, then I want you to make sure you grab a copy of the companion course that comes with the quick synth map. I've also got two videos up on the screen right now that are gonna help you dive a little bit deeper into some of these concepts. This patch was based off a patch from Arturia Pigments. If you wanna grab a copy of that, you can do so below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on LiveKeyboardist.com.